by the end of this full in-depth tutorial here on sunday swap you'll learn how to connect any cardano wallet to interact with sunday swap trading protocol not only that you'll also learn how to add collateral and also trade aka swap one cryptocurrency for another you'll also learn how to provide liquidity hold lp tokens on your wallet and obviously do something called yield farming all that and more is coming up in this video in order for us to get started we need to obviously connect our wallet so i'm going to click on connect wallet over here and here we presented with two options we've got cc vault and nami wallet let's click on i understand then click on nami wallet for now if we're accessing this for the first time we have to grant access to the wallet now if you've been using this on a test net like i have you have to obviously change from the test net to the main net so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on settings then click on networks then toggle this off now i'm on the main net again i'm going to come back to the main wallet you can see now we have our new wallet here it's not completely new it's just that we moved from main net or rather from test net to main net the next thing we need to do is to obviously find our wallet and to do that we have to click on receive then you'll be presented with this qr code over here where you can actually scan it or copy the wallet address so you can obviously fund your wallet if you're using wallets like your roi or deadlast wallet or any other cardano wallet you can actually come here and add a wallet when you're adding a wallet you can actually import an already existing wallet if you actually come to the faq you can see that cc vault does support your roi deadlast wallet or any other wallet that is on the cardano blockchain so while we're on cc vault we need to obviously come to settings and enable collateral to do that come to settings and toggle this on to do the very same thing on nami wallet come to your wallet then click on settings then click on collateral from here you obviously have to put in your spending password basically what's going to have to happen here is that 5 ada is going to be set aside obviously you won't be able to use it but you can always push it back to your main account at any given time so i'm going to put my password here and click ok now let's go ahead and start trading basically what we're going to be doing is swapping one currency for another before we even do that if you're actually connecting with cc vault if i can just go to that i'm going to disconnect this and connect with cc vault you can see if you're actually trying to connect the wallet it may not actually work let's try it again you can see the wallet is actually not working in order for you to fix that you need to go to the wallet itself once you're here you need to click on this button enable dep account you can see if i disable it and enable it the green light will actually come on so now that the light is actually on if i come back to the wallet here and try to connect you can see it's connecting successfully so basically what we're now doing is we're trading one currency for another it's very important to note that these orders can take days to actually go through obviously all depending on your slippage tolerance remember the higher the slippage tolerance is the more likely that that order will actually go through if you actually come to orders here you can see that it's saying that it's processing orders from about two days ago or a day ago so just bear that in mind and remember that when the price of the assets are actually changing that affects your order obviously depending on your slippage tolerance so once you actually got your orders completed what you want to do is to now provide liquidity remember as we said that to provide liquidity you have to provide an equal proportion of each currencies so that's what i'm going to do here i'm going to put equal proportions of each currencies and obviously go ahead and provide liquidity obviously in this case as well this may actually take days to actually complete so after days and days of waiting my orders finally got scooped and remember that the order that i'm talking about is not even the swap that i was doing internally because remember every time you're swapping it all depends on the price fluctuation and also your slippage tolerance but i've also got a video on slippage you can obviously go ahead and watch that video i'm sure it will be popping somewhere here or i'll link it at the end of this video but basically what happened is that one of my orders actually got scooped now if i come to the orders here you can see one is actually completed in this case it wasn't a swap like i said however it was actually me have sent ada and have sent also world mobile token for the sake of me making this video no endorsement so what i did is that i actually took those tokens and actually provided liquidity if we now come to the home page here 
and we come to the world mobile token you can see it says this pool is eligible for yield farming reward so what we need to do is click on the pool itself and obviously you'll get a breakdown of the pool what we need to do is to view our position so i'm going to click on view position and you can see that we haven't yet provided yield farming even though we have provided liquidity as i've mentioned in this video right here that when you actually provide liquidity you have your funds or rather your lp token sitting on your wallet as you can see here this is the representative of what we own here on this liquidity pool so i'm going to click on more and from here you want to stake your lp tokens like i've explained again when you're actually providing liquidity to a liquidity pool you get in return an lp token lp tokens are a true representative of your ownership towards that pool so it's a certain percentage uh, of that pool basically that's what you own and also your lp tokens will fluctuate based on those currency pairs that you provided and obviously that will have a significant impact towards your impermanent losses so in this case what we want to do is to stake our lp tokens I'm going to click on that in this tab you are actually presented with staking 100 percent of your lp tokens or of your position 25 percent 50 percent 70 percent in this case i'm just going to go with a hundred percent so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go ahead and actually proceed with staking so i'm going to stake them you can see my wallet is actually now processing the transaction hopefully we get a tab where we can actually sign it up yes uh, now i'm gonna sign in and remember that now we're actually going to be doing something called liquidity mining which means that because these currency pairs are actually on the list uh, that was provided by sunday swap that if you provide liquidity on these currency pairs you will actually be earning free sunday swap tokens so once that process is completed you can come to your wallet by clicking on your wallet you'll be able to see that you will no longer have lp tokens on your wallet if you recall earlier on we had lp tokens here which means we have successfully provided liquidity and done something called yield farming if i click on liquidity you can see now i have a yield farming position i'm going to click on more you can see this is the lp tokens that we had in our wallet in the next 29 days i'll be able to earn uh, my rewards here on sunday swap not only that you'll be able to harvest them now obviously you have to wait for the next 29 days 30 days basically if you do withdraw your lp tokens before 30 days you won't be able to earn interest when it comes to liquidity mining if you recall from this article sunday swap is going to be distributing sunday tokens to people who are actually providing their lp tokens and doing something called liquidity mining the video showing up on your screen is going to be your in-depth guide with regards to how does yield farming works and the video showing up next is your step-by-step -step guide on understanding what are impermanent losses go ahead and check those videos out i'll see you there goodbye for now peace